Hi everyone, it is Tara from Dauphin Public Library, one of the libraries in the Parkland Regional Library System. I'd like to acknowledge that the land I am on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Anishinaabe, Métis, Ochiti Sakwin, Ochakri, Cree, Diné, and its Treaty 2 land. Okay, so we're here with another art challenge. Today we are going to, for supplies, we need a salad spinner, if you have one. Um, I think I've used mine once. I had to actually dust it off to, to get it ready for today. You need paper, or if you have a paper plate that fits in your salad spinner, that might be fantastic. And you need paints of some sort. Okay, because I don't have a paper plate, I'm going to trace around, not super carefully, but trace around my the inside of my salad spinner. Approximately. And then cut this out. Okay, so here is my circle that I've cut out. And it fits fairly nicely in there. So get it into the spinner. Okay, so I've got some paint set out. I'm going to mix a few colors to make different colors because I have very basic paints at home. I've got blue, red, and yellow for the most part. So, but my paints are fairly thick paints, so I'm going to add some water to them to thin them out a little. Ooh, that maybe was too much water. So I'm just going to get the water incorporated so that my paints are a little bit thinner. I think you can probably do this at home with just about any paints you've got. Um, I think probably if you had watercolors, it might be a little challenging to um, use that. But if you've got tempera paints, those might work really nice. Let's mix my blue in with some water. And then red and blue makes some kind of purple. Not really happy with that purple. Okay, so now we are going to just pour in our colors wherever you feel like. The green is maybe a little thin for this. We'll see what happens. Okay. And then we're going to put the lid on the salad spinner. do this, make sure you check with your parents that they are okay with you using their salad spinner for doing artwork. Not everybody would be okay with that. Um, okay, there is my artwork. Cool. Okay, I think if I was doing it again, I'd maybe put more like focused in the middle maybe. Maybe would have thrown more blue in there. I definitely made the green too thin. Maybe the yellow a little too thin as well. The purple's just about right. That's a good consistency for the purple. 
So your paints might not be as thick as mine, so they might not need to be thinned down at all. Try it out without thinning them and see what happens. Maybe it'll stick better and won't, won't, um, yeah. So experiment. I'd love to see what you create with your salad spinner artwork. Okay, I couldn't resist doing one more, so um, I also made some pink. Put a lot more paint in. This is kind of fun. I hope you guys have as much fun with this as I am. Oh yeah, I like that one better. More paint. Look, like I even got some cells happening and I didn't put anything special in to make those cells. Okay, I really like that. There we go. My second attempt at spinning art. Salad spinner art. Hope you have fun. Make sure after you finish doing this artwork that you clean up your mess. Wash the salad spinner so that the paint doesn't become one with the salad spinner. Have fun everybody. See you on the next video. Bye for now.